What's good YouTube, it's Money Man, I'm with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how Sofago fans have officially organized a protest against Sofago, all right? Let's get into it. So, many of you guys have probably seen in the Fago Reddit or through the IG blogs, Fago fans have had enough and they're protesting against Sofago, which is crazy, all right? Because out of nowhere, they just started this whole F Sofago campaign. Fago waking up in the morning, seeing the community do a whole 180. F you Sofago post, F you Sofago. I've had enough with you. And this is crazy because through the thick and thin, the Fago fans have stood there. They've done their best. They've been promoing Fago like crazy. They've been really doing their things. And I understand as to why the Fago Reddit kind of switched up, why the Fago fans have switched up. At the end of the day, they love Fago. They're not going to switch up on Fago, but they're just frustrated, right? This is similar to like the whole lot of red lead up wait. Nobody knew what was happening. There's leak songs going crazy. Fago's ghost. We didn't know what the hell is happening. And the same thing is happening in Fago's career. He's getting leaked like crazy right now. We all remember when the whole NA sessions got leaked. Some of the NA songs got leaked. Some uh, War 2 songs got leaked. He started a whole rollout. Like this whole thing has simply just been a whole mess. And I understand as to why the fans are, you know, turning on Fago because they've done a whole lot of things, right? Because somebody in my comments, I posted this on my IG blog right here. It's my IG blog. I posted this so Fago fans organize a protest against Fago. And somebody was like, please explain why. So I basically summarized it up right here. And I said, because the Reddit has been making whole marketing campaigns to regain Fago hype back when they successfully did. Remember the whole Fago GIF thing? Remember every single Instagram blog page complex Bobalam, uh academics literally a through z where the, whether it's high mainstream media to the underground all you seen in the comments was fago 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 all these fago gifs and it was all organized through the so fago reddit because the fago reddit they obviously rock with fago at the end of the day they love fago right we all love fago's music we know he's so talented but it's like when you don't feed the fans and you also go ghost and the fans are just kind of lost. I understand why the fans are feeling this way. And it just sucks because they've made whole marketing campaigns. My boy Stealthy be telling me there's so Fago group chats where people are coming up with whole marketing campaigns to regain Fago's hype. They did that whole Instagram gifting. Fago literally had the blog pages in the palm of his hand. I'd say for like a good two to two and a half weeks, all you seen was Fago gist, right? You could not escape that. And what did Fago do from that? All he did was drop After Dark on SoundCloud, not even on full mainstream platforms. And I saw somewhere that Lamar was like, yo, I'm trying to get Fago to drop Lamar being Fago's manager. I saw in his story around that time, he was like, yo, I'm on Fago's head. He needs to drop. And obviously nothing came out of it. And it just sucks, you know, because Fago really blew up with After Me. That was like late 2020. So we've been in 2021, 2022, 23, 24. It's been basically... I'd say three and a half years since Fago has really been lit since he blew up with After Me. And all we got was one album, Pink Hearts. I personally really, really enjoyed Pink Hearts. I like the album. I still listen to it to this day. I think it's a great listen. But obviously we saw Pink Hearts flop. Pink Hearts was a flop. The majority of the fans did not really rock with it. It was too slow. Some people said this, that, and that. Basically, Pink Hearts was a flop. Nobody really enjoyed it. Me, I enjoyed it, but that's that. He dropped one album. It was a flop. We've never gotten a solo tour. Fago has been going on Nav's tour, Trippy's tour, uh, Loteca's tour. We've never gotten a so Fago solo tour. Meanwhile, acts like Hard Rock, Osama Sun have been going on their own solo tours. If them, those artists can go on their own solo tours, Fago a million percent can go on his own solo tour. So I just don't know why. It, the only thing that comes up to me in my mind from that is like Fago scared that he might not sell tickets or he might not be in the same type venue capacities where his peers are like Yeet Ken Loan. But that's because Fago has been so ghost for a while, right? Looking at his competitors, Yeet Ken Loan. They've all dropped what? About to be three albums from Loan, three albums from Ken. I think Yeet's like on album four or five. How is Fago more mysterious than these opium artists? It literally, it makes no sense to me, bro, but it just, it sucks. In the amount of time that Fago has blown up since After Me, we got on one album, it was a flop. Two little EPs you can count before Pink, but that was essentially Pink Hearts. And then we got the little thing in the summer, Go Plus. That was amazing. He regained his hype. You've seen everywhere. Fago fell off, Fago XYZ to Fago's back, Fago's up next, Fago regained his hype. And what did we get from that? 
nothing bro we didn't get notes or i just don't know it's about to be a year since that project came out and it's just like bro what is happening it's just that he's taking too long bro it sucks it really sucks but i understand why the fans are going through this why they're doing this whole f so fago campaign maybe they think that's gonna wake fago but if you're making whole marketing campaigns and so fago did not take advantage of that what makes you think he's gonna scrap everything together and be like oh my god the fans turn on me they're saying f so fago let me do something now it's like nah bruh i just do not know what's happening obviously i do know fago has been getting leaked like crazy there's a crazy amount of leaks i saw somebody even had like was threatening to drop 150 leaks in one day which is crazy and i even saw so fago was like yo y'all need to stop leaking or i'm gonna do something but and it just sucks it's kind of more so like a double-edged sword to where obviously fago's not dropping because he's getting leaked and then the, obviously the fans want something but then you got to understand he's getting leaked and then they're mad that the leaks are coming out but they're listening to it and then they expect him to do something it's just it seems realistically just like a whole mess and then the whole travis thing comes into it where like how can you flop how can you do xyz when you have the world's probably top three biggest rapper in your corner how can you not how could you really fumble it's just a whole mess in my opinion I just don't know what's going on and I honestly do not know what's gonna be the future of Fago. And then we gotta speak on obviously War 2, right? War 2 was supposed to be something that was supposed to drop from Sofago. We can go to Sofago's IG. He basically pump faked the whole rollout. Sofago was teasing War 2 like crazy seven weeks ago, seven eight weeks ago, you know, right when the end of Tekka's tour was happening, he was on Tekka's tour. He was teasing War 2 like crazy. We were getting snippets on snippets. Fago was dropping crazy snippets. This snippet's still on repeat for me. This snippet, where the F the meta is insane. Then he dropped another chill one. So he gave us War 2 snippets, was teasing War 2 like crazy. Had War 2 in the bio saying the troops are getting ready and just pump fake the whole rollout. And maybe it's because War 2 got leaked or they're threatening to leak, I don't know. But with the pump fake rollout, with one album in essentially three years, it being a flop, no solo tour, leaks are getting out of hand. It seems extremely unorganized and it just sucks, man. I feel bad for Fago. Like, I understand why the fans are frustrated. I get it 1000%, but then I get why Fago's, you know, not doing anything because it's just like, I don't even know, man. It, it really sucks for Fago. Like, Fago. I always say this, bro. Fago might be the most cursed rapper to come out of the underground. And it sucks because I love So Fago's music, bro. Out of the Yeats, the Kens, the Lone, that whole 2021 wave. So Fago is easily the most talented artist to come out of that. If anybody wants to go argue with that, y'all can argue with me because there's no artist from that era who's more talented than Fago. Fago can sing, he can make a melodic vibe, he can make a rap. A track he can sing like crazy he can do xyz he can do it all and it just sucks because it's like you see somebody's potential you know how much potential they have but they don't counteract on it right but i understand why it's happening sucks for fago sucks for the fans it's just a whole mess right but this is basically everything that went down in regards to the fago community from so fago fago fans officially organized a protest against so fago and yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> it really does sucks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because this is a pretty interesting topic in the underground. And what do y'all think is next from Sofago? Let me know in the comment section below. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Somebody may or is it? And I'm out. Hey guys.